I'm Dash Long, and you're watching Behind the Line, Jibbing Icebergs. The town of Girdwood is really cool. It's a pretty special place. Cool food, good vibe. There's just a town full of ski bums with a really awesome ski resort. It's kind of the spot to be. Alaska in the middle of the winter is pretty stormy, especially this Turnigan Arm region. That's limiting, you know? You can't get to the high alpine. You just kind of got to get creative at that point. Another weathery day up here in Alaska. Haven't been to too many sled zones yet, so we're just kind of getting out and doing the best we can with the weather we got. We had gone out on this mission to check out this lake. You get on the sleds, you drive about 10 miles, and every day was a new adventure. Every day we would take a different route. After 10 miles of slow cruise, and we finally get out on this lake where there's just huge icebergs. These huge ice chunks float out here in the summer, then they freeze on this lake in the winter. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. The color of blue of these glaciers is so deep. Even in the dark, socked-in snowstorm, it's still just glowing. We started realizing, like, hey, maybe we could, like, tow in on these snowmobiles and, like, start skiing on some of these icebergs. We just kind of realized that maybe that, that was our best bet to shoot some skiing and ended up finding some pretty cool snowmobile tow-in icicle jibs. Dirty was basically the first to put it together. I was like, whoa, good vision, cool, let's start hitting this. It's pretty fun, but sometimes it can be a little scary. It was an amazing experience. Like, coming in at top speed, like must be going like 60 behind the sled and letting go, and then ramping up the ice, getting like G'd out. <laughs> you know, if you don't hit the tranny right, you're basically airing like off of a half pipe wall to the flat bottom. Yeah, you kind of could like air and then land on the back. Dylan started airing out of it over the spine to the other side, and it was just like a place to really like let your creativity out. So the more we kind of got into it, the more we really realized there was like all these different options. Kind of shoveling up this wall ride thing so that we can wall ride off the ice over this channel gap and onto another ice chunk. I started hitting this kind of quarter pipe thing and I realized that I could catch a pretty significant amount of air, like enough to do a trick. And it just dawned on me, I hadn't done a flare since I was like 14, basically in the half pipe at Squaw. I was like, you know what? I could probably do a flare on this thing. And all of a sudden out of nowhere through this flare, this was like popped, flipped, landed, and like the landing of these ice walls is super uneven, so pretty a tech feature. Busted a flare, that was pretty sick. Stoked to get inverted on an icicle. Yeah boys, like Yeah. Part of the adventure, part of the part of the fun of it all is, is figuring it all out. We found a pretty cool zone, something completely different that we weren't looking for, but just kind of appeared and you're kind of looking for anything and everything, so you don't know what you're gonna get into. 